Friends, we've talked tonight about the big celebration that's going on this month throughout the food industry, the nationwide Parade of Progress. That's a parade in which we're proud to say Maxwell House has played a big part. You see, over the years, we've found many ways to make wonderful improvements in Maxwell House and so bring better and better coffee right into your home. One such improvement was the development of the now famous Super Vacuum Can to bring you coffee not just days fresh, but roaster fresh, with all that important coffee flavor and goodness sealed in, none wasted. Then, improvements in the famous Maxwell House blend to bring you coffee far richer, more full-bodied, more deeply satisfying. Again, the new radiant roast process, which roasts each coffee bean evenly all the way through. It brings out all the true natural goodness and flavor of this wonderfully enriched blend. And then, to ensure you're getting the greatest enjoyment out of every cup of Maxwell House you make, there are now two scientifically correct grinds. There's the regular grind for the percolator or boiled methods, and the special drip grind for any type of drip or glass coffee maker. And yet, with all these truly important improvements, Maxwell House is selling today at prices far lower than 10 years ago. So when you're at your grocer's tomorrow, be sure to ask for a pound of the new Maxwell House. If you haven't tried it lately, your very first cup will tell you what a marvelous coffee treat you have in store. You'll discover in this new Maxwell House what progress in coffee blending and roasting means to your personal pleasure and enjoyment. <laughs> MGM Concert Hall, Meredith Wilson presents a composition originally written by Tchaikovsky, as adapted by Kahn, Stothert, and Ward for the new MGM Jeanette McDonald picture, Broadway Serenade. The name of the song is For Every Lonely Heart.
by for our Easter finale. It isn't Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It isn't Thursday or Friday. No, sir. On my calendar, I seek for a certain very special day that happens next week. It isn't payday, mayday, heyday. It isn't Saturday either. It's Easter Sunday. When church is through, there's a very special time, Kitty, for me and for you. It's time for promenading, and I'll be with you soon. All the best folks are parading on a Sunday afternoon. We'll rent a horse and carriage, and I'll be proud of you. We'll talk about the marriage on the busy avenue. Town. Now you can have the twilight, and you can have the moon. Give me those happy moments on a Sunday afternoon. Bob, when Easter rolls around again next Sunday... Yes, Meredith? A certain Beau Brumel you're going to see. Oh, yes? Yes, sir. Pearl Gray Spat, Boutonniere, and Westcott. Well, who will that be, Meredith? Uh, me. <laughs> Well, talk about your Easter outfits, Robert. Yes, Daddy? I've got a combination that's a bear. I can imagine. Yes, a matchless gray with little ivory buttons. Daddy, are you really going to wear your underwear? Snooks. I will wear a ribbon on my ankle and a pretty little hat with feathers, too. And the lace that's on my little Sunday panty. Snooks! <laughs> well, Snooks, you're just like all the grown-up ladies. Yes, sirree. Now, as for me, I'll have to wear last year's cravat. Why, Warren? Because it looks like I'll be busy till next summer. Ah, me. Making payments on my wife's new Easter hat. Oh, oh. When the time comes for that Easter promenading... Yes, Frank? I'll be there complete with cane and striped pants. Striped? All the pretty girls in town will be parading with their sisters and their cousins and their aunts. I will bow, and as I raise my faultless bowler, I will cast a gleaming smile at some fair maid, then bedazzled with my cuspid and with mola, <laughs> she will take my arm and join me on parade. What do you say to that, Lionel? <laughs> well, Frank, I think you Easter togs are dandy. For those who can't afford them every year. But if sometime the cash is not so handy, you'll always be in style if you wear a great big smile. remind you that we have another grand program arranged for next Thursday night. Featuring the regular gang, Fanny Bryce, Frank Morgan, Hanley Stafford, Gilbert Russell, Meredith Wilson, and special guests, Virginia Bruce and Melvin Douglas, and yours truly. And may I at this time wish you all a very happy Easter. See you next Thursday, and in the meantime, 
Go to the movies and be sure to see Jeanette McDonald in Broadway Serenade with Lou Ayers. Ian Hunter and Frank Morgan, produced and directed for Metro-Golden-Mayer by Robert Z. Leonard. This is Bob Young saying good night. <laughs> Warren Hull saying good night and good luck for the makers of Maxwell House, the coffee that's always good to the last drop. The part of Mr. Murphy was impersonated. This is the National Broadcasting Company.